Hey what's going on guys, my name is Kane. welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is a video basically, as you can see by the title, basically it's a video on me sharing my testimony, me sharing my story of how I basically came to know God, how I basically came to know Jesus, how me and God, this whole relationship with me and just being a Christian basically started. Uh, so I never grew up as a Christian, you know, till this day my mum, my dad and my sister, they're not Christians at all, they're not born again, they don't go to church with me. So literally in my household, I'm the only one that goes to church. Um, and when I was 14, turning 15, I think about that time, my cousin, um, she's probably watching this video right now, but my cousin, she was the one that brought me to the church I go to now. Um, so she brought me basically to a youth um, little event we did on a Friday. So every single Friday we used to have like youth every Friday. And she brought me to that. And I remember going with my, one of my closest friends and I never really, you know, because obviously, of course, I never like grew up as a Christian, never grew up, you know, going to church or nothing like that. I didn't like grew up, you know, any religion or nothing like that. So she, when she invited me, I didn't know what to expect. I kind of like, I didn't know, I didn't know what, know what to expect. But um, I remember that she invited me, as I said, to the youth thing on a Friday. And I remember not, I didn't go to church that Sunday. But the Sunday after that, I went to church for the first time. Um, and when I walk through the doors, basically my cousin, like, basically, um, me used to like all the youth used to like go to the front I used to praise and worship at the front and then I went there with my cousin I remember I stood there like a stick like what am I doing everyone around me is praising and worshiping everyone around me is like you know in the jam raising their hands out you know jumping up and down all that stuff um really praising God and I was like well, what is going on in my head I was like what's going on and I remember that I didn't because for myself anyway for myself um I never really I remember the first couple of times obviously it's kind of hazy when I'm trying to remember back to when obviously I first came to church but um I remember all I could think was like literally like I was just so like because obviously I was young so I was so like you know in tune I was so like you know I was just like I just wanted to see you know what this whole Christian thing or this whole church thing was basically about because I've never been to church in my whole life um, and I remember that like, you know after that first time I came, after, after that first time um, going to church and I went back home basically I just felt that I wanted to go back, like I felt I wanted to go back and obviously I didn't know at the time but obviously now I know that it was the presence of God, it was the Holy Spirit, it was just the atmosphere was so different that I never felt, you know, anything like that in the world, anything like that before um, and then obviously after that, after that I came home and I was like, you know what, let me keep going every Sunday, you know, let me go again next Sunday and see what it's like again and, I, and then at the time I kept going every single, every single Sunday and I think one thing that, you know, a lot of people say like, Kane, how did you know that basically, um, you know, God is real, or you know, this whole Christian thing, you know, why did you keep coming back to church? It was mainly because the atmosphere was different, it's mainly because the stuff that I felt, the um, the atmosphere, you know, when, we, when you praise and worship, you know, the, you know, the Holy Spirit, the atmosphere was just so different that I never felt anything like that before, you know, I never felt anything that can really fill me up, that can really satisfy me, um, apart from being in the presence of God. Um, and I remember you know, I remember like I didn't, you know, give my life to Christ. I didn't go to the front. You know, in my church we have this thing called the altar call, where um, after my pastor um, finishes preaching, you know, he Im gets his invitation out to people like if they want to come to know Jesus, um, you know, come to the front, you know, give their lives to God, give their lives to Jesus. Um, and I remember that at, from like at the time I was still going to church every single Sunday, and I didn't like every, so every single Sunday I went to church. I didn't. You know, my cousin would ask me, "Kane, do you want to go to the front?" I remember I didn't do it. I remember like this one Sunday basically. I went to the front, I just felt led, you know, I just felt led to go to the front and then I went to the front um, and then I remember my pastor prayed for me um, and then obviously, you know, I gave my life to Jesus at that moment. So when a lot of people ask me like, Cain, like how, how, what was the moment that you felt God and, you know, you went to the front, like I need a sign. Literally, I think you don't, you don't always need a sign to show that obviously God is real. You know, you, it's about, it's about really, you know, taking that step of faith. Um, and at the time, I just knew that, you know, what I felt in the church was so different to what I, I felt, you know, outside in the world. Um, and so when I gave my life to God, when I gave my life to Jesus, um, I remember after that, um, you know, so every single Monday in my church, we do this thing called New Life, where the people that, you know, came on a Sunday that gave their life to Jesus, they basically get opportunities to get baptised, basically. So that Sunday when I went home, obviously, I asked my parents, like, Mom, Dad, I want to get baptised. And they wasn't like fully, they wasn't like fully, you know, fully agreeing with me wanting to get baptised. And I remember going to the New Life meeting on a Monday um, and speaking to a pastor. And, a part, and I literally told the pastor, like, listen, pastor, uh, my mom and dad, they don't really want me to go get 
baptized and don't really want me to do with that stuff. And I remember the pastor telling me this, like, it's my salvation. The pastor was like, Cain, at the end of the day, it's your salvation. At the end of the day, you know, the Bible says that, you know, when, when we die, we're all going to stand before God. And I'm not going to stand before God with my mom and dad next to me. I'm going to be stand before God, naked before God, basically. Um, and literally when I heard that, I was like, wow. I was like, well, okay, so it's my choice. Like, you know, no, no matter what your mom and dad says, you know, it's your choice to be in a relationship with God. You know, they're not gonna be with you in this relationship with God. Obviously they can help you, but they're not gonna physically be with me, um, you know, in this relationship with God. Like it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, but, you know, after that New Life meeting, basically I got baptized, I got born again. That's basically where my whole entire relationship with God started. And after that now, and after that, you know, I kept going to church every single Sunday, you know, I kept growing with God and I kept you know you know leaning I think one thing that really helped me um you know grow you know as you know a Christian one thing that I realized is that you know the people that you surround yourself with are the people that you're going to become so if you're watching this video and you really want to you know grow your go grow in your relationship with God um yes it's cool to read the Bible or yes it's cool to pray obviously they're the key they're the, they're the fundament they're the found they're the comes to the word fundamental yeah they're like the foundation basically what you should do but i'd also say you know in a in a church you know cling and stay close to your leaders stay close to the people that's you know leading you that's stay close to your pastors stay close to the people that is training you up because what i, mean, I realize that the people that i surround myself with are the people that i'm going to become so I immediately as soon as i got back as soon as i got born again as soon as i kept going to church like you know every single sunday you know i stick close to my leaders i stick close to the people that are training me up because i, I basically I basically just wanted to be like them. I basically was wanting to have, you know, the relationship with God that they have, um, you know, with God. Um, and obviously, I cling to my leaders, and obviously, as, I, as I'm around them, you know, I, you know, you learn from them, and you become who they're becoming. Um, and it's really cool, man. It is really cool. So, I don't know if this testimony really helped. I'm declaring, I'm praying that this testimony kind of helped. Um, this is kind of rushed as well right now. This is kind of rushed the video, but I just really hope that, um, you know, this little, just little video can just help somebody out there um, so another thing guys is the whole coronavirus I'm gonna make a video basically this week or some point this week hopefully talking about the coronavirus and the, all the issues that's happening in the world so if you do want to see a video like me talking about the coronavirus or if you guys need any help you know if you guys need any help or any tips um, or any video you want me to make a video about something do let me know leave, leave it in the comments uh, make sure you guys do follow my Instagram you know my Instagram is basically where I post a lot of my stuff like literally if you guys want to see any behind the scenes stuff what I do in my day to day life I post it all, in, all on Instagram um, so make sure you follow that um, that should be in the description or somewhere hopefully on the screen as well so watching this video please subscribe please make sure you guys do subscribe make sure you guys do like and I'll see you guys all later peace